What's going on, everybody? It's your man, Jay Coop. And yes, indeed, one year later to the date, October 26, 2023 is when you are seeing this video. And exactly one year from today, I got my third hair transplant procedure. Now, for anybody who is new, I am 36 years young. Feel amazing, by the way. And I have went through the hair transplant procedure, guys. Now, in order to get to the ending of the story, we have to know the origins of it and how it started. Now, in the beginning, my hairline was struggling, people. I'm not going to lie, okay? Listen, man, it happens to men. I believe that it might be the biggest insecurity for most men. I know people say, just go bald or just cut your hair low. That's fine. Now, for some men, you might like to wear a low haircut. You might like to be bald. But for me, I want to have that hair on my head, man. Listen, I always got the fresh cut, always was getting double lineups and parts. I had to have hair, guys, and it's that simple. It was around three years ago when I got my first hair transplant. This all happened in Nairobi, Kenya at Artistic Transplant Center. I was just not satisfied with how my hairline was looking. I never got any complaints, but as we all know, our biggest critic is ourselves. I was just looking like Jackson. It just keeps going backwards and backwards and backwards. The hairline was moonwalking, y'all, and I was not about to let that happen. So we go in for the consultation. I'm extremely surprised at the technological advances that we have now versus back in the day where people got hair plugs of how the hair transplant procedure worked. I trusted Dr. Babu and I trusted the staff, and we went and got our first hair transplant, guys. At first, I was like, wow, Jackson, you really went through it. You really got it. It looks good. But when I went to my barber out in Nairobi, Kenya, to show him the results, me and him were kind of looking like, mm, not really what we're going for. All right, Doc, this is my barber right here, and he's going to show you how my line should look. So, so uh... His, his hairline was receding, so you did you did according to receding hairline, uh, but uh, you should have done a straight one coming like this, and then like this. So uh, actually now this is it's it's already it's already curved, but he needed he needed it straight, he needed it very straight, and like this. And this side is good, right? He said it's good actually, but he said uh, he should have also. Uh, done here you should have done here a bit and then a bit more straighter and because uh, this is more curved mm -hmm. and it's too inside right now it looks too inside so he needed it actually whatever he wanted he wanted to cover this this area so that his hairline could be back like uh the way it was in the 90s that's right all right now we got to get it done man Amen. thank you <laughs> cheers so with that being said, I took my barber with me for my second hair transplant procedure. We wanted that hairline to be the look that we're going for, that perfect line with those corners. It's just a look. We all know the look that we're going for. So we draw the line up and they did a great job on that, guys. Now, the issue with the second one was there was really no issue, but we had to fill in the back area. See, one thing about a hair transplant that you have to understand, this is not a fly by night thing. This is a process. It is going to take time. You have to understand that you're going to have to go through your ugly duckling stages. You're going to have to go through itching. You're going to have to go through a lot of different stuff if you really want those true results and you want them to look good. So I go in for a third hair transplant procedure. That was the one that we had one year ago, October 26, 2022. That was a really good trip, guys. But I felt like everything went smoothly. There was a lot of blood as always. There's gonna be pain involved, but I look at it like that pain is so temporary, but that hair is gonna last forever. So the pain part, get through it. Be the lion that you truly are. If you are a lion, get through that, get your hair to grow, get it popping. So we are here one year later, guys. I wanna give you guys an example, right? Right now it's NFL season. You know, you might be watching this overseas. NFL football, I know that you call football soccer, but this is an analogy, guys. Just look at the quarterback position, right? The quarterback has to have extreme confidence. Now, on one end, you have a quarterback like Dak Prescott. Me and him had the same issues, man. Hairline was receding, 
corners were going. I don't know if his top was balding or not, but my top was balding and my corners were going. It was a trifecta of no, no, no. Then you have a quarterback like Jalen Hurts. That man has a goatee, a full hairline, and a hoop earring. Now, why am I bringing this analogy up? At first, I was Dak Prescott, and look at how he plays. Now, I wasn't playing bad. I was still... <laughs> I was still putting numbers on the boards. Having that hairline, having that hair, it will give you confidence. These are facts, guys. When you have hair, you look younger. I don't know about you, but me, I want to look as young as I can for as long as I can. Because you only have one life. You want to be out here looking dusty and crusty like some of the people from my high school class. <laughs> Now, would I suggest a hair transplant for you? Now, it all depends on what you want to do. If you want to look younger, I suggest it. If you don't want to walk around wearing hats all the time because you're ashamed of your hairline and ashamed of your recession and ashamed of your balding, I would do it. But if you want to be bald, I wouldn't do it. If you don't care how your hair looks, I wouldn't do it. But if you care about appearance, I feel like there are three major things in appearance, and this is one of the major ones. In no particular order, you have hair. You have skin and you have teeth. These three things as a man will separate you from the pack. Now, depending on what you're doing in your life, I would highly suggest that you get a hair transplant. I know I have a hat on right now. Jackson, why are you wearing a hat? Why are you wearing? Because I want you guys to get ready for the big reveal. Now guys, this is one year later. This is through trial, tribulations, blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> Flying all across the world. <laughs> this is how my hair is looking one year later. Okay guys, one year later, and this is what my hair is looking like. Now, we're gonna do a up close personal review of the hair, but I have to say, if I just do a freeze frame of what I look like now versus what I look like when I had to wear my hair low, I'll let you be the judge. That is a night and day difference. Time to get into the up close and personal review of my hair transplant. Now the left side is looking good. The coverage, I really cannot complain. I really switch back and forth some days which side looks better, the left or the right, but I'll let you be the judge. Like I said, the right side is looking good as well, guys. I am highly, highly satisfied with my results thus far. The crown is looking very, very good, but you have to realize the crown is gonna take more time than other areas. It could take up to 20 months for me to see the full results that I'm looking for. And the donor area looks great. I know that I had some work done because you could tell that area is thinner, but from the naked eye, you can't tell anything was done, guys. Okay, guys, so you saw the results. One year later, inside light and outside daylight. Let me know in the comments below, what are my results looking like? But this right here, get your pen and your paper. These are very important notes. You are gonna need three things to make sure that your hair transplant is successful. And we're about to get into them right now. now. This is in no particular order, guys. But coming in first, as you can see, water. Simply water, guys. This is the key to everything in life. But for this video specifically, drinking the right amounts of water can help your body, your skin, and most importantly, your hair, guys. This is just a fact. Listen, if you wanna look young, I told you that I'm 36. Every time I tell a girl that I'm 36, they never believe me. And the key to this, I don't drink, I don't smoke, and I drink a lot of water. That's a major key. So if you want your hair transplant to succeed, and if you just want a healthy life in general, drink your water. All right, guys, on to the next one. Okay, guys, next up, oil. You have to keep your hair moisturized, guys. It's as simple as this. If you keep your hair dry, it's gonna break. If you keep your hair moisturized with oil, it's going to help it stay moisturized and help grow. It's literally that simple, guys. Keep that hair flowing and growing, guys. Because if you're going to get a hair transplant, right, why would you not take every step in order to keep that thing looking good? Think about it, guys. Oil is a major key. You don't have to get this particular one. I just like this one because it's good for a multitude of things. 
So this is good for hair, skin, anything that you want to use it for, almond oil, coconut oil, just use a oil for your hair and you will have amazing results. I told you there were three steps. This final step is very, very important. Right here, guys, we have what I believe is the key to a successful hair transplant journey. This is Hems Topical Finasteride and Minoxidil. Now, when I was getting my other hair transplants, I was saying, Jackson, you don't need to take pills. You don't need to do this and that. Just get the hair transplant and you're good. That's not how it works, guys. Look at it like this. When you get the hair transplant, the hairs that you took from the back of your head to the front of your head, those are gonna stay, all right? Those are there forever. But the hair surrounding that still fall out the older that we get, depending on your genes and your hereditary situation. If you don't take finasteride, which is what helps keep the hair that you have, and if you don't take minoxidil, which helps grow and regrow those follicles, then you're just gonna be working backwards. And that's not what we want to do when we're getting a hair transplant, guys. This right here is a major, major key. Now, there is a downfall to it, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It's expensive. This is 150 USD, guys, for a three-month supply. Now, you're supposed to spray both corners, the middle, and your crown every day. I don't know if I get three months out of that. I might, but it's worth it, guys. Trust and believe me. You have to have this right here. Hems topical finasteride and minoxidil if you want to have those results. Also guys, allow me to mention, I tried taking the pills. Now, I was looking online and people were saying that I can give you erectile dysfunction, things of that nature. I did not want to go through that. So I think I psyched myself out mentally and I think I took them for about two days and I was feeling weird. So I stopped the pills and I went with the spray. Take that with a grain of salt and I would always consult your primary physician before taking any medical advice. Okay guys, there you have it. My one year hair transplant update. I am so happy with the results. We live in an era now where you can take back your confidence. If you're not confident about your hair, go out there and make it happen. And if you wanna to go to Nairobi, Kenya, I highly suggest Artistic Hair Transplant Center for all of your hair transplant needs. Dr. Babu, your work wonders, my brother. This was prime, prime information that you will not get anywhere else. And to help every single gentleman out there and ladies, because ladies, you can get this procedure done as well. Just do one simple thing. Hit that like button, guys. Make sure that everyone sees that they can take their hair and their life into their own hands. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. On the road to 100K. It's a long road, but best believe we'll get there. Also, follow me on Instagram at Jackson S. Cooper. I don't know about you guys, but I'm about to go out here, enjoy life with my new hairline. Woo! God is the greatest. As always, stay fresh and stay blessed. Until next time, peace.